Hi guys, Mike Crossfield here. We're gonna do my five best move your club path to the right drills. So five of the best drills I use with students day in, day out to try and help them move their club path to the right. Now, why would you wanna move your club path to the right? Well, let's pretend you wanna hit a functional draw, so a draw that hits target. You have to have the path moving to the right of target for you to have the face close to that path to be able to draw it back onto target. If you swing zero, have the face close to that path, that promotes that right to left spin, you're missing left. And then obviously if you swing left with the face close to that path, that's certainly not working, that's double left. So if you wanna hit a functional draw, we need the path moving to the right. Here are my five best. Move your club path to the right drills to help you start hitting some more functional draws. Let's get stuck in. So I use this drill a lot with people um, to try and explain to them kind of where they want to feel like they're maybe putting some force through the shaft to try and control the head. So what I ask people to do is just grip the club normally, go top of the back swing and stop and then I want them to try and prayer grip it at the top. So normal grip, get it up there and then just take your hands apart and prayer grip it. So that means hands this way holding the club this way at the top. So once you're at the top in that prayer grip place, you're not gonna hit a ball like this. I want you to feel that your gloved hand, so my left hand, pushes that right hand to fold back. So I'm kind of pushing with the left hand. And then as the club starts to fall and drop, I then start to try and push with the right hand to spin that club out to the ball. So it's the normal grip, top and stop, just prayer it push with that left hand so that drops the CG of the club below my hand plane and then as I get down there kind of waist height shoulder height I start pushing with the right hand to spin the club out to the ball. It's this dropping which you'll see flattening from most players of the shaft angle as they start the downswing so as they pull into the downswing they start to drop the handle and the club this way to start the downswing which allows them then to use other torques pulling the handle in to push the club out extend the wrist as they come through impact to get the correct amount of closure on that face to hit the, a, a better golf shot. So it's, you've got to be able to drop the handle to then spin it. If I was to start my downswing by just pulling it over to letting this get above my hand path, I'm now gonna feel like I have to really drag the handle to hit target or I'm just gonna commit, spin the club, so handle come in, club come over, and the ball's just gonna kinda go low left into the car park here. This is a great drill, you can do this one at home, you don't need a club, just again, clap your hands together, a bit prayer grippy up to the top, feel like you push your hands back, and spin out to the target. It's a great way of helping you control path, move path in a way that will help you start to hit functional draws, and hopefully hit your target a lot more. Let me know how you get on guys, as always, post comments down below. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.